Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Metal video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the Space Traveling Warriors category challenge for the LGE GT event. So obviously the LGE GT event is one of the hard end game difficulty events for DBZ Doken Metal Global and is comparable probably to the Gods of Destruction uh, slash the extreme battle road level of difficulty uh, in its own niche way. The LGE GT is a truly long form event uh, with some runs taking up to 30 to 40 turns to complete depending on your team build. So it is indeed quite an interesting stage. Uh, obviously here we're going to be speed running it essentially for the space traveling warriors category uh, and we're going to actually be using uh, double LR freezers. So double LR freezer essentially a very very good method to use for this kind of uh, event. Reason being is LR freezer essentially crits uh, every single time he hits a Goku unit so LR freezer is going to be doing some mega damage uh, and everything around him is essentially just built to accommodate that. Uh, we're going to be linking him up with the sworn enemies support third form freezer uh, and he is going to be assisting quite greatly uh, in terms of his uh, passive support for the sworn enemies category uh, then of course we have some Ginyu force members that are floating around we have Jace who will also be providing some kind of support along with allowing us to see where super attacks lie we have the free to play int uh, unit that's also going to be providing some tankiness due to the fact that he has guard and 50% damage reduction against Goku type enemies uh, and then of course pretty much after that we just have Raccoon and Berta there. Raccoon just to act as a tank uh, once he takes enough hits he'll have relatively high defense and he will also have the ability to guard uh, and also Berta who gains defense on the super attack uh, and does have some evasion as well. So that's going to be the team that we are rocking. Uh, it's going to be the one that we utilize to take on the stage. Of course, just uh, as kind of a heads up, uh, the real carry here is the LR Freezer. So if you want to follow this team exactly, you are going to need your own LR Full Power Freezer. However, if you want to try and skirt around it, another suitable option might be the Tech Freezer at 130%. However, it's going to be a little bit difficult because the name of the game here for this team build is Speed. Uh, we do have some susceptible units, uh, mainly being Jace and Berta, for the final stage against the LGE GT Goku. Remember, LGE GT Goku roughly hits enemies for about 550,000 on a super. So if you don't have high enough defense for that, you are going to be taking quite a significant amount of damage. So that is something you are just going to have to be wary of when you take on the stage. But beyond that, Freeze is going to be doing so much heavy lifting with his crits and his stacking of attack that it's not really going to be too much of an issue. Uh, one thing you will have to be wary of with Freezer is just remember that after six turns, he is going to have that drop off in terms of attack and defense. So you are going to want to make sure that you get his 18 key as much as possible during that time because you're going to need that defense to begin stacking up. Otherwise, he's going to lose a lot of defensive viability. That being said, his attack will continue to rise and he will hit some very, very solid numbers. Uh, as you can see here, he's hitting some crazy stupid numbers uh, and it's all going to really help chuck down Goku uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, when Freezer's just getting these huge ass crits like this, it's really, really easy to kind of, I don't want to say steamroll the event, but you are blitzing through it. I mean, this is a naturally long event in Dokkan and it is just being absolutely torn apart by Freezer essentially. So it is very cool uh, to have Freezer kind of make this event a lot easier, but you do just have to be wary. Berta, Jace, those units you, like I said, are going to have to be careful about. 
you really do kind of need them to just stay out of harm's way. Jace fortunately helps us a lot with his ability to see super attacks. Uh, but the Int Freezer here, we also need to make sure he gets some attacks. Otherwise, he's going to have some big drop off uh, later on. So you really need to make sure that the Sworn Enemies Support Freezer, that he gets his attacks and that he's able to fire off attacks. Because if you do not get his attacks off, uh, he's not going to be able to stack that defense. And he is going to struggle quite a bit in terms of his defensive output. Remember... Uh, every time he attacks, he gains 7% attack and defense all the way up to 70%. So you really need him to build up some of those stacks. Fortunately, the final form is a full power Goku that is tech type. So it is fortunate from that aspect. But beyond that, we do need to be wary of these kind of things. So let's uh, push on and we are at the second to last stage and we're still going at a very, very, very good rate. Uh, we're going to move Raccoon into the first slot here, essentially just to take advantage of his natural type advantage in this situation, to allow him to build up his stacks completely, and then we're going to do some big damage with Frieza. Obviously this means we're not going to get the full offensive output of Frieza, but it's okay, uh, it's not the end of the world. So at this point we are going to activate some items, uh, we're going to activate one of our Whis, uh, this is just so that we can get the hits off on Raccoon, let him build his defense, uh, let Freezer chuck out some big damage, uh, and then of course just kind of push on from there. Like I said, uh, it's where things start to get a little bit more difficult. Uh, you can see that the Goku does do some decent damage even through the damage reduction and even through a Frieza that's stacked quite a bit. But at the same time, Frieza's DPS will honestly probably carry us through. Uh, he just does such an insane amount of damage and with the massive Colossal modifier on both his 12 and 18 key, that damage doesn't fall off if you only manage to get 12 key. Uh, so because of that, Freezer just really doesn't struggle so much, uh, and he can just keep racking up damage and damage and damage. Uh, and all of these attacks just do so much work. I mean, look, we're just doing so much damage with the Freezers um, that realistically, we are managing to get through Goku quite quickly. You know, when you're taking out one or two bars each attack, it's really really impressive obviously we have this freezer here who's just kind of building his attack and defense uh very difficult to say um you know in terms of performance but at 55 percent i think he does really well uh performs great provides that support to freezer which allows him to do even more damage uh, and also he's somewhat defensively sound we saw him take quite a bit of damage earlier on but you know he does have some sort of defense and then Berta with a clutch evasion as well all these little things do add up uh, especially when you're kind of speeding uh, through the event we're not going to use the active skill uh, this is mainly just because we're essentially going to save them in case we get into a tight spot against the tech full power Goku one thing you will run into uh, is that Frieza unless you manage to stack or he has a couple dupes uh, his defense will suffer a little bit if he takes a super attack or something from the tech full power Goku. Uh, he just doesn't have uh, the defense at the rate at which you're going through the event. He just doesn't have the defense to dish out, uh, you know, take out that much, prevent that much damage from the Goku, basically. The Goku will essentially just do a crap ton of damage, uh, especially if he supers him. So... At that point, it's very, very difficult to, you know, handle that level of damage. And so many units would struggle if they don't have damage reduction or evasion. So at this point, we're obviously onto the final stage. We're going to activate a Whis. Uh, we do have massive damage in the form of the, uh, you know, AGL freezes. Uh, so that's always great. But we do need to be aware that... Um, you know, Berta can take some damage, Jace can still take some damage, all these units can still take a fair chunk of damage. So uh, we will need to be wary of where we use our items. Uh, using a Whis to start off just to get some damage in, uh, getting the Doikan attack in with this third form freeze is not such a bad thing. 
Uh, obviously, getting it in with the other freezer would have been something great, but honestly, I don't think it's entirely necessary. Uh, we'll get the heal here, and we ended up taking the super attack on this freezer. So honestly, at the end of the day, probably not the biggest loss overall. Um, that being said, this freezer is starting to do some decent damage. Obviously, it does have some kind of uh, type advantage against this Goku so he will at least be able to start doing some significant damage uh, this freezer going to be doing really good damage obviously has been stacking his attack the entire way uh, and his crits are really going to be what carries us through the workload uh, so just be aware of that and then we do have this in freezer as well uh, fortunately also in type uh, so we'll definitely be taking a look at that and hoping he can uh, get some really really good damage and Berta we need to be worried about, Jace we need to be worried about but at, in the same tone uh, we don't need to be too concerned as long as we have an item active remember Berta will have his uh, evasion chance and he also of course stacks his defense so hopefully he should be alright. Jace also greatly raises his attack and defense and also raises the attack and defense of his allies. But you do want to keep them out of harm's way. Fortunately with Jace, uh, his ability to see super attacks prevents that. Uh, so you essentially do not have to worry too much about Jace. It's just the random supers on Berta and Raccoon uh, that can cause any problems. But if you manage to avoid those, then going through the end here should be fairly fine you can see here on this freezer even though we have a Whis active we still take 342,000 damage and that is an insane amount of damage uh, through a Whis so you can see just how much even a good unit like freezer has to stack their defense to technically be immune to full power Goku's uh, you know attack damage so yeah you do just need to be careful of things like that but in the same token, you know, he should be more than fine, especially with an item active. So, yeah, but so far, so good. Uh, everything going as planned. Uh, we will use a Android 8 here, uh, just so we can obviously get some additional defense. Uh, if we get super here, we probably will die, um, or come close to dying, I should say. Uh, just because, obviously, 380,000k defense isn't really enough on Frieza uh, unfortunately so you do have to be aware of those type of things but we should be more than fine um, with the item active as long as we don't get supered we shouldn't have an issue Goku hitting Frieza first will activate his second attack uh, and then we'll be really good to go so once we clear up all of those uh, Goku will be taking a massive amount of damage and we'll finish him off this turn so that's it for the LGE GT Space Traveling Warriors uh, category mission. Pretty easy now with LR Freezer on the table. Uh, if you do not have LR Freezer, it's still quite challenging. But the Ginyu Force EZAs, I mean, Raccoon, Jace, and Berta were all used here, uh, have all been super viable options. Uh, the Freezer, the Final Form Freezer, is also a super viable option. So realistically speaking, there's been quite a few good additions added in. Uh, in you know light of the EZAs for the Ginyu Force but that's going to be about it from me I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always uh, stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one but until then take care and bye